picture baby Jesus in a tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna spit on it before insertion. Wow, this is really hard. That's what she said. You may ask yourself, is this the proper tool for the job? I ask you, what makes it the improper tool for the job if it works? Well, that looks dangerous. It does, but fuck it. <laughs> the zip tie on the lines, the zip tie, zip tie to that, to this. Engineering stuffs. One more critical step in the 480 conversion here is the lines. Damn it. <laughs> I dropped the old fitting. <laughs> now, this applies to... Thanks for that. <laughs> this applies to our conversion, but you could also do this to uh, any transmission. So, you know, we'll just kind of make this a, a pretty simple video as to how to convert your factory GM uh, push lock little E clip transmission lines to AN lines. We're going to make the lines. We got the stuff right there from Red Horse, and we got the fittings here that we'll talk to you guys about in a little bit. But let's pick this thing up and show you what we got going on here where these fittings go uh, if you watched the last video we kind of went over this but if you're new here we'll go through it again if you are new here there's a whole playlist for uncle rob videos you should go check that out you can even see uh the very first video when i went to pennsylvania to get it from my uncle like my uncle's in the video the real uncle rob is in the first video of this i think i told you that didn't i yeah like when we go to the notary and stuff it's it's pretty funny he's a funny guy well, let's pick this thing up it gets a little toasty in here with all the doors shut and the sun on the roof all day. Yeah, flying that door open. Here's what I'm talking about here. Right here and right here. I get like I'm looking through the screen right now, so it's a little messed up. Those two places, that's where the old cooler lines came from. And that's where these fittings used to go. So, now oh, I just totally hit my head on the tire. Great. <laughs> this one came from the front. This one came from the back. Now, this is some really critical information here because there are two kinds of 4L80s. We'll learn you something today. There is the early case that was bolted to the 5.7s and the 454s like before the LS motor came out. And then there was the later case and there's minor differences between the two internally, which I'm not gonna get into because I don't really understand it completely. But the easy way you can tell is the earlier ones do not have a tippy top hole in the bell housing and the cooler lines, how this later case has them staggered like this, one in the front, one in the back. The early case has them both right here. Like the other one would go right here in the earlier case. That's how the one in the Escalade is. And in that situation, you do not use these fittings. They don't have fittings like this. They both look like this one. Now, we have the proper AN conversion fittings here from our friends at ICT Billet, um, which yeah, I actually went to Summit and bought these. You know, whenever you have a company sponsor you and you actually support them, if you need something in a bind, you just go buy it anyway and just pay for it to support them because they support you. So I went to Summit and actually paid for these. Uh, that's what we did today. I see titties. Yeah, this is I see titties right here. Yep. <laughs> you gotta make sure you get the right ones because if you go to Summit or whatever and you tell them you want the 4L80 uh, AN lines, there's gonna be two different types. One type that has two fittings like this and one type that has the long one. So I feel like I gotta say this a thousand times. If your transmission has the fitting in the front and the back, you get the one that has both types, one of each. You know, you explained this yesterday too. It's funny because someone's still gonna comment and say some dumb shit and <laughs> ask you that question. Yeah, I know. Just load the comments with that stupid question that you've only explained 69,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. I feel like a broken record sometimes, but at the same time, I feel like some of you guys are coming here for this specific information that maybe not have seen the other video. So that's the only reason that I reiterated. The stupid question is a question that has already been answered and you just clearly didn't listen. Yeah. However, I don't fault people if they didn't see the video. Like if... Well, if they didn't see the video, that's like no big deal, but you also like repeat yourself a yeah. lot. You're not, you're not wrong. So we have the later style, so we have one of each. Early style uses the same. There we go. Don't have to say that anymore. So, you want to take this out of the bag? The IC Titties bag. 
I wonder if they would be cool enough to let us spoof their logo for a shirt that says I see titties. I don't think so. <laughs> I think if it didn't say titties, I see tacos or something, that would be okay. <laughs> I see tacos, Chokiondo, cuh. But like titties is a little... Yeah, they may not like that. See, we gotta put these O-rings up against the, the base here. Yeah. You get that sorted out. Oh, you gave me the easy one with the... Yeah, it already had it on there. With the wiener on there. Got it. Cool. Yeah, we don't, we don't need these anymore. If you're new and you've never seen anything like this, these lines are held in by tiny little E-clips. Let's, uh, I'll go find one of those just to show you what it looks like. If you know what I'm talking about, just bear with me here. I, I wanna be as thorough as I can for every type of viewer from semi-experienced to never seen anything like this before. These things are what hold your lines in and they can pop out. I actually had one pop out on Elvis before. I was on the highway. That's what they do. They just clip into that little ridge there. That's how the factory ones work. But we don't need that anymore because they're using some good old fashioned AN lines. Yeah, we'll start with this back one. The back one goes in the back. Do you think I need to repeat that? The back one goes in the back? Yeah. No way. I don't know, that's pretty tough. Someone might mess this up. <laughs> Long one goes in the back, short one goes in the front. Remember that. Yep. These fittings, these fittings are like a mullet. Party in the back. Long in the back. Business but, in the front, party in the back. Yep. Unless you got a four-wheel drive truck, then you're just business all the way around. Or party all the way around, depending how you want to look at things. Yeah. Does anybody else have a really bad habit of... I like to picture baby Jesus in a tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? What does he say? Like, cause, cause you know, like he's classy, but he's here to party or something like that. Somebody fill that in. Yeah. Okay, we'll fill up the other one up in here. Actually, before I stick this in there, I'm gonna figure out what size the wrench is to put it on. I kind of finagled a three-quarter wrench over the old fittings. These ones may be similar. Yep. That'll do. These are your three-quarter size. Are you having fun on yeah. your throne? <laughs> Throw this in here. Uh, yeah, does anybody else have a bad habit of just tearing the crap out of your fingers to tighten things instead of just getting the wrench when you should? Because you just like gotta use your fingers, I don't know. Prideful. Yeah, I don't know, I just like, if my hand's already in there, like, I'm just gonna do it. All right, so I'm gonna use the ratcheting side of this just because I can. We don't want to make these super duper tight. The O-ring is going to make the seal, not the threads. So we don't have to be concerned about that. Does that help you? Yeah, so I felt it kind of bottom out and I'm just gonna give it a little bit, a little bit more. So I felt it get, get snug and then, I don't know, I didn't even give it an extra half a turn because once once that base is contacted, then the O-ring should be making the seal. It's not pipe thread, so it's not tapered. It's all in the O-ring. The cooler is already on here. This is a cooler from CSF Radiators. And like in the last video, oh, there's actually a part number on here. If you wanna use the same one. I have no data as far as temperature or anything like that goes, but it's on there. And it's a freaking heavy duty oil cooler, so I think it'd be good for transmission, you know, as long as you're moving. There's no fan on it, but, you know, it is what it is. It's good for now. Uh, yeah, the lines are already on here. They're already dash six. And I did this at, at Cooper's house. I couldn't find the right M22 O ring base fitting, so I just got one and I used Cooper's Fronius Magic Wave TIG machine to weld this on here. There's probably gonna be some rogue fluid left in these lines. Maybe, yeah, just a hair. Oh yeah, most AN sizes can correspond to um, standard wrenches, if you didn't know. I think cash six is 11 sixteenths, but I could be mistaken. And I'm pretty sure, I know one of you guys knows the answer, that um, AN lines like the dash, I think it's something like dash six means sixth eighths of an inch. 
like of an eight, like an eighth of an inch times six. I think there that's like the nomenclature breakdown of what that actually means. Something like that. I don't know if it's exactly that, but it's something. So someone leave it in the comments who knows more than me. And I was right, it is 11 sixteenths. I'm gonna move this just in case more comes out. Point these hoses down. There we go. That's the ticket right there. Work smart, people. I do that some of the times. Like right now. What, what do you have to say about that? Nothing. Say something. You know, you gotta comment. People no. love those one liners. Why don't you just fry me? No. Light I'm me up. Good. <laughs> You had nothing to say. I find that hard to believe. I'm just ready to eat cookies. <laughs> Is that what smells bad? Yeah, ATF does not really smell that great. You smell it? I don't want to put my nose over there to sniff it. It just smelled bad when we walked in here. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably why. We have a handful of different uh, Dash 6 fittings for this. Wait, how is this? It's oh. It's in a knot. Well, we're not going to untie it. We're just going to rip it because we can do that around here. <laughs> so we have some 90s. I always get more than what I think I'm going to need because you always do something differently than how you think you are. Or if you get more than you think you need, put them in a box, forget about them. And then next time you need a project, you got to change something in a pinch or you break a fitting or something. You got one. You don't have to go to the store. AN fittings are just kind of one of those things that having some backups, never ever a bad thing. I think we're going to use the 90s for everything because we pulled, we pulled 90s off of the old line, so I know that's a good configuration there. And we want 90s to go into the transmission um, also. Before I ever make or start cutting lines or anything, I take the fittings that I'm planning on using and I thread them onto where they're gonna go to kind of mock up orientation and everything before the line ever comes out, just so I can kind of get an idea. And then if you know that the fitting is gonna be in the right place and everything checks out, you can kind of see where the line's gonna go, like use your imagination, then you can take the collar off of the back of the fitting like this. You can take that off. You take this collar off and then you can hold the line up to this shoulder here because that's where the end of it's going to be and you do the same over there to kind of mock up where you're going to cut it that's how you figure out your length in order to know the length that you have to angle the fittings and everything according to how like you plan on routing the line through it that affects the length so you just kind of do everything before you actually do it if that makes any sense at all we'll take this one and run it kind of up over that and down and this one will join it and the two will come down through here uh, about like that because the crossover is in here and it gets close to that maybe mm, probably should mock up the crossover to see where that's going to go because I don't want it to get that in the way so we don't have to put it on we just have to hold it up there and run one of the bolts in up here just to get an idea of like where it's going to go or just hold it up there. I guess you could do that. Do you want to hold it up there? Sure. <laughs> I take this light out so it looks stupid. What? The fog light? Yeah. Why does it look stupid? Because there's only fucking one of them. What do you mean? It's and race it's car. It's broken. It's busted as fuck. Just take it out. It's race car. It's broken. It does human work, I bet. And no, it doesn't. So take it out. <laughs> it bothers me. Well, maybe we could replace it with a functional one. Or put another transmission cooler there. Yeah, it needs to be symmetrical. It looks stupid. See? <laughs> yep, she's got the right idea. Very rarely am I the one who vouches for non-symmetry in something. That's not common. So we're just gonna throw the crossover back in there just to mock it up so I can make sure the lines run around it with ample room to not melt because that is bad. Melting transmission lines is bad. That's how you start fires. Not, my shoulders are short. I don't want to carry this like there, that. I, I can help you. Here, I guess I'll do it. 
Okay, now what? <laughs> well, once I get this on here, can you like hold it once I get it there? So I can. Maybe. Yeah, just hold it there. You don't really have to do much. Or is it staying on now? Is this like permanent? No, this is just this is just mock up. I'm gonna put the starter back up about where it's supposed to be also. Uh, just so we know where that's going. <laughs> what? Nothing. By the way, uh, this is the flag shirt I was talking about in the last video. Um, this particular design is also on the hoodies on the website. You can find them at stablesandautoworks.com. Link is in the description and pinned in the comment, the pinned comment. Also the shirt that she's wearing, the Good Wrench style one, that's like a ladies cut version. But um, yeah, I only order like two of those just for her. I don't actually sell women's ones, but it's the same graphic and those will be gone forever soon. So jump on it. It looks like we're gonna have plenty of room to get the line in, to have it run down through here. And what I'll do is use one of these holes right here for a zip tie. I kind of did that on the Escalade where I zip tied the lines together and then I used the zip tie on the lines to zip tie, zip tie to that, to this. Um, engineering stuffs. But yeah, we'll run it, boom, right through there, right under the starter, right to the front of the truck. I think that'll work out pretty dang great. Are you having fun over there? Yeah, I'm pretending I'm not here. <laughs> where are you pretending you are? It does. It's funny. Whenever they, uh, that ramp in that parking lot didn't used to be there, but whenever they did that, they took all the dirt from there and just threw it back here. So it's like all cracked and it like reminds me of the movie Holes. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Where's... We literally have like a whole ass tree that wasn't here before. That's a big weed. Oh, is it a weed? I think it's a weed. Is it a weed or a tree? I think it's like a bush or a tree or something. I don't feel like weeds get this big and thick. Probably not. I mean, what even is a weed? A weed is just a bush or a tree that you don't like. I guess. Are there any like horticulture experts in here who can discern the difference between weeds and plants for me? I just like to learn things. All right, don't change, don't judge me. Anyway, now that we got that in there, we can unbundle the dash six line spool right here look at that 06 35 feet also when you're ordering lines and fittings take how many feet you think you need and freaking double it because you're always going to use a little bit more than you think you need you could mess up and also if you don't mess up you use as much as you think you need you can always then you have enough it to do it you can't make it longer after you cut it so don't fuck that up yeah uh, what you repeat that because i was talking when you started talking oh my bad well, you had a good point. Yeah. What was that point? Well, if you cut it longer, then there's like room for like fuck ups. Like, if you always like cut it longer, then there's like room to like cut less off. You can't add more after you cut it. Yeah, that's very true. And we're gonna do that too. We're gonna line it up where we think we need it, and then I'm gonna add like another, you know, couple inches just just for good measure. Got the line unbundled, and I've just decided since. I got a pretty good idea of what's going on here and where it's going to go. We're just going to take that fitting off and put it right on the end of this line and then feed the line into where it's going to go, screw it on, and then measure our cut point from how it lines up with this here. Instead of kind of eyeing it up in two places, we're just going to throw it on there and do it once. Uh, you can do that for simple routings like this. It's what I prefer. In the end here, which conveniently already has tape on it, usually when you cut it, you put tape on it and then cut it, but we'll show you that later. You just shove this on here. Actually, I'll show you a little tip for this. So the base is a, a three quarter, fits in there about perfectly. Little tech tip here. You can put that in there and then hold this, you know, you get your fist better on there and use that to kind of work it onto the end of the line that way. You wanna do that. I don't know if you can see, but you push the line in 
until it butts up against the ledge inside there where the threads start. So this is ready. I will go over to the vise. We'll put a little bit of oil on this and thread it right into here. Let's head over to the vise and get it done. So this is the first time I got to try these. Uh, Deechworks makes these freaking neat um, billet anodized magnetic jaw vise kind of protectors to make these AN lines without scratching up your fittings in the vise. These actually have magnets in here, so you set them in and they don't, you know, they don't just fall off, which is freaking awesome, really. I love neat little things like these that just make life easier. Take the fitting and put it in here and it grabs it from all sides so it doesn't turn on you. Logan, do you remember when we made the the drain line? Yeah, it looked for like this? Yeah. Wow. I'm actually irritated that I never had um, a vice attachment like this before because holy crap, that was just like way easier than any of my prior experiences ever doing this. You see how whenever it's tight, you don't have to over tighten it to the point, but you'll get to a point where they're designed so that when they're tight, these faces of the hex head will line up with each other. If you tighten the crap out of it, you can make it so they're not lined up and it'll be tighter, but if you line them up like that, then it looks good. So I'm gonna run this to mirror the path exactly how I think it's gonna go. And this is where we can kind of play with how it is gonna be run here. I'll go over that, over all this, basically following the route of where the original transmission line would have gone. Can you pull that through? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Here, I'll leave you some. Okay. And uh, leave this here. I'm kind of anal about what happens to the rest of the spool because I don't like getting my spool all dirty. Because if you gotta put it in the rest of it, which you don't use in a nice spot later, then it's like all covered in crap. But that's okay right there. We're gonna use this to be the front one. So we actually, you don't need that much even. Go right here, thread it in, just as if it were going to be installed. See, it would fit, it would work good if I cut it right here, but I'm gonna cut it an inch longer than that, just to have some extra room for good measure. Can you give me a piece of tape or something? Like a piece of that yellow tape? Yeah. Keep, keep. Actually, no, I do need that electrical tape. I'm an idiot. Oh my God. Sorry, it's been a long time since I've done this. In my head, I'm thinking, oh, I just need to make a Kobe. I just need to make a mark real quick. But then I realized that I need to use the electrical tape to cut with also, like it cuts through it. So with that mark being made, I'm gonna tape so that the middle of my tape segment is where my cut's gonna go. And if you wad up a bunch of tape, then it's gonna be a mofo to shove the fitting over it. And if you stretch the tape, when you cut it, the tape is gonna come apart too, because it's under tension. So you don't really wanna stretch it, and you don't want it to be super thick either. This right here is exactly what we need. So now we can unscrew this from here, pull it back out, cut it, and add the other fitting to it. You may ask yourself, is this the proper tool for the job? I ask you, what makes it the improper tool for the job if it works? Chainsaw. What? Chainsaw. <laughs> I told you the last time. Yeah, well, one day we'll get a chainsaw and we'll try that. Yeah. That could be a future video. We'll just get a chainsaw to see if she can make AI lines with a chainsaw. Just cuts. F that's why. <laughs> can you do me a favor here? What? Uh, with your non-camera hand, just like pick up on this and give it some tension. All right, here we go. You guys ready for this? Did I hit you with it? No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Take the end of our fitting. But that's not the end you need. This is the end you need. Oh, well. Do, do, do. See, that's why you're here. I just hung that cord over there so okay. it would yeah. be safe. This will work. Actually, we will have to shove one on this. This will be the end of our second line, but we're making Wait, one. Today? We're making one, one line at a time. We're making multiple of these? Yeah, just one more. Oh. Eh. Oops. It's okay. 
see what the tape does it kind of bunches up these little metal prong thingies in here you see all those mm -hmm. and those can get in there and screw up your threads if they're too long so if you're like me and you're a wild man you can just run your thumb over it at the risk of getting stabbed by one of them like there's one right here i don't like this one because i feel like it's going to get get in the threads well what are you going to do about it move it out of the way oh. just bend it back and then we got to wrangle up everything helps if you turn it <laughs> while you're doing it see how much harder it is without the socket to shove yeah. it over so yeah. we'll grab a socket real quick okay well we got that shoved on there didn't need to show you that because we showed you on the other one and uh we're ready to put this in now i want to see if i'm a good teacher you turn it yeah that's a fun <laughs> She said. Come on to you. <laughs> it's been a long time since that joke has happened. It has. A very long time. Comment if you remember that era. Like when Logan first started helping me work on Uncle Rob. And that was like a reoccurring thing in almost every video. Yeah, it was funny. I feel like that was such a long time ago. It felt like a really long time ago. I believe you did this part on one of the lines... We made back then too, didn't you? Probably. Yeah, and it was kind of a pain in the butt without those vice clamps. Yeah, because we used that last time too. I'm trying not to scrape up your pretty. It's okay. That um, wrench is aluminum. It's designed to not scrape things. Um, so. So I can just beat the hell out of this, and you're still okay. Should be. Cool. <laughs> just kidding. You picked it up in broad day white, and you scratched it. Crank that soldier boy. Shut up. <laughs> you can keep going. I know. I'm waiting for it to like be hard and like line up. Waiting for it to be hard and line up. Shut up. <laughs> I think you're there. No, it needs a little bit more, right? Because it's not lined up. Hmm. Maybe. It's very possible. These things are kind of designed to flex. It's really tight, but because it slipped off the one time, that little corner is a little bit, you know, the integrity is not there. So, yeah, you just got to, like, be careful with it. But you got it there. I think this one had a little bit of crust inside the cut, and that's why it's not um, totally perfect like the other one is. But that is one completed line. You want to play do some jump rope with it or something? <laughs> or hit me with it. It's more, more, a more likely scenario. Now, if you put a lot of tape on there, you can kind of like take it off after the fact. I always like to check how those line up on there because sometimes it'll like push it out a little bit. Feed this in exactly the way we had it mocked up before. Bring it around town. And then around we, town. And then we do this in that. And this and that and this and that and then <laughs> <laughs> you pull it through you reach it no oh, that's right it's right, right it? here oh you can drive that into that first fitting yeah while i get this one here oh, okay. can i turn the damn camera off because i can't reach i don't know why it's like really satisfying for me to thread a n lines on with my fingers just because it's like how nicely it turns this is fun. Sweet. Now we can make the second one run right along this one. Now we are feeding the second line along the first line so we can figure out where to cut the end here. Well, that looks dangerous. It does, but fuck it. <laughs> well, this one sucks ass. How so? Because you can't get your hand in there. Ooh, that would have been bad. Hmm. At the risk of potential injury, do you want me to do that? <laughs> I don't want to do it again, though. It's fine. You don't have to thread it on the whole way. It's just so it's anchored there. so we can. Oh, get to... what the hell? You should have said that a long time ago. Well, you got to have it enough so that it's kind of in the right place, but... It is. It's almost all the way threaded. It's like okay. One more. Okay, so... How would you... Where would you put the length at if you were doing this? 
No, this isn't my job. What? No, this isn't my job. <laughs> this is above my pay grade. <laughs> I don't know, it has slack really like, right here. So you like, right there? If you do like right here, then there's like room for like more slack. Yep, and it runs next to all the other stuff too. So yeah. can you hold this for a second? Let me check how it is up here. Ah. Okay, yeah, so I want to run that kind of up along this one here. Yeah, give me, give me a little more slack here. Right there, I think that's where we want it. Yeah. Right where my thumb is? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll throw some tape on that real quick. Where did I put the tape after I did it? Oh, my God. Where did I put it? You don't remember? Is it right there? Yes. Durka Durka. <laughs> She's over my shit now. Doing the right thing the wrong way. There we go. I'm going to put it up against the, the guard here so that it doesn't beat it around, it would get a more clean cut that way. See how much less... Um, Frayed it is? Yeah, the steel. Yeah. Yeah, much better that way. Much better. And we're all set. Uh, where did that fitting go? Did I even bring a fitting with us? No, you didn't, unless you put it in your pocket. Nope, I didn't bring it with us because I'm stupid. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah see it's details perspective is key i'm not stupid i just wasn't thinking yeah you weren't planning ahead you were yeah. just like let's get it done but like didn't get it done <laughs> <laughs> oh the monte carlo got big plans for you ralph just wait just wait what'd you do with it the fitting I don't think I ever took it off the cooler. I think it's right here. Yeah. That's the, I'm an idiot, or you're an idiot face. No, it's not. <laughs> well, yeah, this is what we needed. We're just getting our cardio in today. That's a really face, like really? Yeah, like I'm stupid. I don't know. I feel stupid whenever I see that face and it's because of something stupid I did. Because I know I should have brought this with me, but I didn't. You know, there's, there's information in these videos, but there's also a lot of nonsense too. And I've come to realize that you guys enjoy watching us to feel like you're here and not just to like learn something. So we'll give you both. You're gonna spit on it before insertion. <laughs> we'll see how that works. <laughs> no, we gotta use lube too. I guess my spit's not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's what she said. When did you? <laughs> what I'd really like someday is one of those uh, crimper things. They're kind of like hydraulic. And they're AN lines, but they use a crimp collar instead of the screw on type. Is that helping? Um, it hurts my hand, but I feel like it's helping. I don't know. I'm not really sure if it's good to twist or not. Whatever. I'll just stop. I don't know. Well, you could just kind of hold it up and let it twist that way. That's what I did when you were doing it, but not so that it hits the wrench. You're getting closer. Yeah, this one doesn't want to... There we go. Just takes a little bit of finesse with this wrench because it it's designed to flex so you don't over-tighten stuff. And it'll want to pop off if you press too hard, but if you give it tension and let the flex kind of carry it, you can get it to line up perfectly the whole way. It's just kind of a little bit tedious. Damn. I don't think that's good. No, I don't like that. Uh. What are we going to do about this? It's like, oh, I don't know if it's just... That. I feel like that's going to restrict some type of flow and it's bad. Yeah, I think just the metal framing inside is just bent from being kinked and we'll just have to kind of work it around to unbend it. It's like a straw that you bite. It'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you didn't chew the straw up completely, I think it's okay. Yeah, no, we didn't chew it up completely. But at the same time, we don't want it to be kinked and restrict fluid flow and have that be the reason that the transmission dies. Oh yeah, that, that's a good point. Yeah, that's why I'm sort of concerned.
Looks better already. Yeah, I think that I think that did it. Look good to you? Yeah, it looks fine. Sweet. And by pliers, I mean vice grips, because I couldn't find pliers in the 10 seconds it took me to look in that box. Let's do it. And since this is the same on both ends, we can just freaking just send her home. Right next to the other one again. Yeah. Cool. I can do that back one here. You want me to do the back, you do the front? Yeah. Okay. And she's right, it is hard to get your hand in there. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Can you hold the camera? Yeah. I had to like two finger it, it was annoying. Yeah, I need two fingers or two hands for this too. One hand to kind of hold it there and the other one to turn it. Awesome. Now they're ran, we just have to tighten them like to tighten the lines and we'll zip tie them up out of the way like zip tie them to the other stuff that's up there so it doesn't just rub on things because they can rub out and blow out well that wraps up the trans lines for that tighten them all up they're good to go uh, i didn't zip tie them yet but i'll go in and do that when i go do some other things the algorithms don't really promote this type of video because there's no ridiculous stuff happening there's no one doing burnouts nothing exploding nothing blowing up no one yelling about anything. In order to grow, I know you guys, if you've watched this far, you have friends that you think might like this or might benefit from it or benefit from the perspective shared or just enjoy it in general. I ask you to send it to one of them, just to see, help a brother out. Uh, yeah, the shirts I mentioned before, um, we got them right here. The hoodies are here. This is all we have for hoodies. No more hoodies will be ordered this year. This is it. So if you want a hoodie of this style, you may never see them again once these are gone. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six extra larges left. Handful of smalls, only two mediums. Um, I don't know, probably at least 10, two X's, three X's, or I don't know why. Three X's sell well in shirts, but not hoodies apparently. The big guys must be warm. I don't know. We just got something else pretty sweet in the mail that I'm gonna open up and show you. We got stickers and something else. If you don't already know, every order that you place on stablesandautoworks.com gets a handwritten note from Logan who handles all the packing and stuff herself while I'm you know, editing, she'll do that. Uh, you get a handwritten note from her, it's autographed by me too. And for the longest time, we used to just slice up pieces of paper, like printer paper. We would just cut it into fourths and sign it. So if you have placed an order before and you got the little, like, missized piece of paper, that is a relic, and you should hang on to that someday because it's going to be something to look back on and be pretty funny. A stack of note cards is, what is it, 88 cents? Yeah. And I never even went and got one. We were just sitting there using that paper thing to, like, slice up pieces of paper out of the printer. <laughs> because it's what was there. These saw decals were off the website because we actually ran out, so we got some more now. These, these bad boys. These came out really well. What do you think? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These will be on the website soon. Not yet, but soon, stay tuned. These will be on the website by the time you see this video, but not these, we're saving these for a bigger release with the hats in a new style shirt like the one she's wearing. You'll see that soon enough though. I don't know if I actually got my shirt in it, but I tried to pan the camera over. Gone are the days of writing on scraps of paper or even note cards. We have gone fully legit here. Check these out. You know, I was looking at the sticker sheets that we do and I thought, man, you know, it'd be really cool to have like a matching card. So we weren't just signing a random card. Like, let's make the card nice. Cause some of you guys DM me pictures on Instagram, which I do look at and reply to most of them, where you hang the card on like your wall or something. And I'm just like, wow, people are taking these random non-square scraps of paper and hanging them on their wall. So let's give them something nice. So if you order something, you will now get a super dank piece of paper <laughs> piece of paper piece of paper it's perfectly square there's cool graphics on it all around just a good time i will take a sharpie whoever gets this one first good job to you
<laughs> there you go. I won't say it'll be the first order, but it'll be a random order. Whenever this video gets posted, somebody is gonna get this one. Suck it. What else? Do you think we should write something funny on here? Yeah. Like what? Butthole fingers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joke from the last video. That was funny. You. You probably have butthole fingers. You. <laughs> <laughs> you should address one to Baylor about hot dog water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll do that. Oh my god, he's gonna watch this. I'm getting so butthurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Baylor drinks hot dog water for fun. There we go. What else? What else do you have to come up with here? Some random, Stop being a dick. Stop being. Oh, that one you have to write. I that see one. titties. Here, you you write. Stop being a dick on there. <laughs> Sign it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. This is my favorite one. Whoever gets this one is a lucky person because I'd almost keep this just to hang it up myself. It's okay. We can make you another one. Stop being a dick. <laughs> this is what we do here. We have fun. I see titties. <laughs> I just like to point out how much better your handwriting is than mine. <laughs> Yours is like all nice and prim and proper and mine's just like... Uh, uh, uh. Apparently this is what I do. Yeah. Well, there you go. We got like four or five of these. Yeah. They won't all be in a row. We won't put them all in a row. It'll be kind of at random so stapled on autoworkers.com link in the description get you something you can even choose a random shirt there's a listing on there for a random shirt and you'll get something that's on the website all you do is put in your size and whatever you get in the box is what you get but they still come with a note so that could be a way way for you to participate and save a few dollars check it out time to make cookies. yep it's time to make cookies how many cookies can i have oh. Hell yeah. Also a joke from the last video, which you should go watch if you haven't seen it already. Go watch all my videos. Dang, they're all just as good as this one. Bye. That sucks, donkey dang. <laughs>